I just went to the bathroom and I think I finally know what labor feels like. I just delivered a huge baby. Robert Rivera and this is on the cheap tip. Now have you ever known that you were getting sick but you were in complete denial about it? Well this past week I got a UTI aka a urinary tract infection aka you don't ever want to have this shit. Now I've never had a UTI before but I was told as you get older you become more susceptible to these things and someone also told me that it can be caused by having too much sex which we know is not true for me because ain't no sex to be had. I'm in a fully committed relationship with my right hand. Anyway, I knew something wasn't right down there, but I just didn't want to admit it to myself. So I spent the whole week in denial. That's interesting. It's weird. I feel like something's like, eh, I'm fine. Ooh, must have worked out really hard at the gym today. Drain something. Oh. It kind of hurts to sit down. It kind of hurts to sit down or stand up. It, uh, hold that thought. All right, I'm back. What were we talking about again? Oh, yeah. Give me one more second. All right, I swear I'm back this time. So. God damn it! Oh, okay. Something's definitely not right. I, I really should call the doctor. I'll give it one more day. One more day. Hey, I'd like to make an appointment with the doctor. Like right now. You probably shouldn't wait a week to treat a UTI. Unless you like the feeling of fire shooting out your pee hole. And now on to our tip, which is a firming face mask. So let's get started. The first ingredient that you're going to get is something that we've never used before, and that's brewer's yeast. And they come in a pill form or a powder form, and brewer's yeast is meant to be taken internally because it helps aid in your digestive system, it also helps clear any illnesses from your upper respiratory system, and it's also great for your skin and hair. But people don't know that it's actually really great to be used on your skin topically as well because it helps fight any bacteria in your pores to help clear acne, it contains selenium, which is a high antioxidant that's going to help smooth, firm, and tone your skin. And what you're going to do is crush up your pills into a fine powder the best way that you can. I just put them into a Ziploc bag and took a hammer at it and went crazy. You get a lot of aggression out that way. And what you're going to do is take a teaspoon of that powder and put it into a container. The next ingredient that you're going to get is milk. Now, milk contains fuck. Five, four, three. It doesn't contain fuck, but just... <laughs> Uh, milk contains vitamin A, it also contains lactic acid which is going to help exfoliate any of the dead skin cells on your face as well as containing lubricating fats that are going to help moisturize the skin. Now if you'd like to substitute your milk for another type of milk, I do recommend almond milk because it's high in vitamin E. Just know that regular milk and almond milk are two different things and almond milk is not going to contain the lactic acid so that's pretty much the thing. And what you're going to do is to Take two teaspoons of your milk and put it into your brewer's yeast. Then you want to mix up your ingredients very, very well until it's a nice, thick mixture. Then you're going to wash your face thoroughly and then take your mask and apply it gently in circular motions. And then you're going to leave this on for 20 minutes until it dries completely. And when it dries completely, it will get nice and tight and hard. Hmm. We like things hard. After 20 minutes, your mash could be, after 20 minutes, your mash could be, the big guy, mash. It sounds like I'm saying mash. <laughs> you really need to enunciate. <laughs> after 20 minutes, your mask should be completely dry, and then you're going to rinse it off. So I just rinsed off my mask, and I have to tell you that this is one of my new favorite masks, because it really does tighten and firm your skin, and leaves it super smooth. It does tingle a little bit when you have it on, so if you have super sensitive skin, I don't recommend it for y'all. And I said on y'all, like I'm in Southern. I did want to mention when you're buying a brewer's yeast, make sure that you get the one for human consumption. It does come in a pill or a powder form. I recommend getting the pill form because you can start taking it regularly because it's actually really good 
good for you. And that's my whole tip, so make sure that you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next Monday for another great tip. Bye!